To, to me, Adam Smith um, speaks about some of the, the social and societal demands and the way that an individual operates in society, um, for good or bad, is being highly relevant to the way that we operate in society today. So I think what Adam Smith gives us is a way of starting to think about those relationships that we have in society and what the consequences of those relationships may be. So my research is on equality, diversity and inclusion and I think probably the work that Adam Smith um, wrote that's most relevant to that is the theory of moral sentiments. This idea of kind of building up our moral sense of self through the accumulation of experience really speaks to the idea of how equality, diversity and inclusion work. Um, I'm interested in um, ageism and also sexism. Now, Adam Smith wasn't a gender scholar. I don't think we can we can stretch the imagination there. But but what we can actually see in his work is that you know how people build up this accumulative experience and what's right and perhaps what might not be so right over over time. And I think that's highly relevant for how we um, live in a, a sexist and ageist society today. So I think for my work, the accumulative experience is uh, is really real that we see in Smith's work is really relevant. So I think his work really for our students is a treasure trove in terms of helping them think critically about how they navigate their way through life. He doesn't necessarily provide a kind of hard and fast rule as to how you should live your life but we don't want our students going into the workplace you know thinking that there's a rule book but the, the situation has got to be assessed it's got to be thought through and we've got to actively reflect on our own and others ideas when we come to a particular situation. Mm -hmm.